Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I will show you how to create realistic subsurface scattering in Blender using Eevee and even cover how to create a black and white map that will drive our subsurface scattering so we can create cool effects like this. See, glowing veins. Anyway, let's get started. I will create a new file and then just hit control two. There we go. Got my arm. Currently, I don't have anything, uh, any materials on this model. But let me open a second panel first. I'm going to select my arm and create a new material. Now, I did mention we'll be using Eevee. So let's turn up the samples in the viewport to 64. And I'm not going to enable Bloom. I will enable Ambient Occlusion. You can enable these or not. Just keep them off. But... What's important is you go into the subsurface scattering and turn this all the way up to 32. And maybe turn the jitter up a little bit as well, but that's for later. So, in our material, let's first uh, give this hand a flashy looking color. Let me turn off that uh, wireframe, by the way. Alright, so right now it looks like clay, right? If I turn up the subsurface scattering, you can see what's happening here. So, by the way, the reason I said turn up the sample count so i turn this down you get all these ugly lines so turn that up but if you still see it um i mean first of all this is way too much use reference all right so i don't have any reference so i'm a hypocrite so if you look for subsurface scattering you can see how this works right the light bleeds through the hand and we can actually see through the skin because our skin is actually a little bit translucent so keep your reference open on a second tab or in a PRF file or just use your own hands for a big light all right so right now it's not bleeding through our hands like we saw in the reference and that's because we need to enable in our material scroll down we have subsurface translucency there we go now it's way too much right now, right? Let's turn this on. So I need to really go by the decimal. One thing you can do is you can add a math node, set it to divide. Plug that in here. I can set this to one and divide by a hundred. That way. See it already looks really good. I think that looks pretty good. But then again, it also depends on how bright the light is. But turn this all the way up. You can see what's happening. Now, one thing we get are these ugly squiggly lines here. And the way to defeat these is you just hope for good luck. The way to reduce them is by setting your shadow cube size to, say, 4 thousand pixels and maybe set it to high bit depth and then maybe turn down the scattering a little bit now that looks pretty good but what if we wanted to have like veins or something protruding or as in this case the bones we want to see the bones through the body right through the hand right now there's nothing there so that requires a little bit of a more advanced setup but it is possible so let's add a new image texture we'll call this arm and set it to 2000 pixels, turn off alpha, and plug that in our base color. Okay. And now I go into texture paint mode, and with a white brush, I'm going to be drawing a bunch of squiggly lines. The paints are very random, they don't always squiggle like work out a lot you will have a very straight thick vein on your forearms so maybe that's a good motivation right to hit the gym uh to figure out how your veins pop so you can use your own arms as a reference whenever you do uh, a blender sculpt does that make sense all right that's good enough and then i'll be using the soften brush to Alright, 
Now I will actually use this texture map for my bump so as a normal map so plug it in the normal and I'm gonna add a bump node and set this to the height. I'm gonna bring down the distance. That looks good. And then bring down the strength a little bit. Better turn let me just unplug this from the base color. Those are some veiny hands. Make sure it's a little bit subtle. This would look a lot better if the arm was textured with skin texture. And then the veins would um, also have a color, like a bluish color. So that's how we perceive our veins. So what we can do is we can actually use, if we wanted to go for a very extreme effect with the veins, we can use the veins to block out the subsurface scattering. So I can turn this up quite a bit and set a mix RGB node here and then use my texture map for my veins as a factor. And then I'm gonna have to just select this So in this case, I have to really crank this up, but you see the effect I'm talking about. You could draw any type of stuff to occlude the light, basically. Um, well, in this case, it's unfortunate because I have to set the subsurface scattering to an incredible, to an incredibly high value. But if I bring this down. We could still have the same effects if the veins were, as a matter of fact, drawn on the fingers or any other object, basically. If whatever we draw on the hands is drawn on something with thinner skin, on an object that was uh, not as thick. So let me draw a couple of uh, squiggles on the fingers. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. So we're still using the same value for the subsurface scattering, but now whatever we drew on the fingers is uh, occluding light. And this will be your value basically, like if this is set to white, it will do the opposite. It will um, turn up the subsurface scattering even more on the veins or whatever was drawn. This looks pretty cool as well, if this was like a backed like character, maybe it's like flickering on and off, like... A character who has a superpower, right? And you can do this, by the way, you can actually make this flicker. If I just open a timeline here. Uh, let's go to the shader, the graph editor. Maybe it's best to add a value node here and plug that in. There we go, value 1 and 0 is going to be our same thing as setting it to the color. The reason I'm doing this is I just have to deal with one value. So let me add a modifier, noise modifier. There you go. Two tutorials in one, now you know how to do subsurface scattering and how to create a superhero effect. Like, you know, like the last airbender, although it's twitching in this case, so this would be the equivalent of on being on ecstasy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it and will be able to create more realistic characters using subsurface scattering using EV ditch cycles i'm just kidding anyway i hope you guys learned something from this video if you like this video make sure you hit the like button 
and hit subscribe because I'll be uploading every week on the weekends. And next week I will have another tutorial or showcase video coming. All right. See you in the next video.